my uh, little Tibetan bowl. Hello and welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm Mary Trimble with your readings for August the 6th through August the 12th. This is for your sun, moon and rising. And um, if you haven't been here before, welcome. Thank you for stopping by and I really hope you stick around and keep coming back. And if you have been here before, welcome back. Thank you, guys. I so appreciate you. I really do. Thank you. Um, thank you for liking and sharing and commenting and subscribing. I really appreciate that. I'm almost at 4K subscribers. Let's make that happen this week, yeah? And um, uh, what was I going to say? Okay, so if you haven't been here before, I do an astrological report at the beginning of uh, the video and I put it on every video because it's a general astrological report. And you may skip that if you're checking out your sun, moon and right, oh, sorry, sun, moon and rising. Mercury's in retrograde, so I'm going to apologize in advance for any mistakes that I make, which I'm sure to do. Um, so, uh, what was I going to say? So all, all the information and lots of other links, if you want, if you want to link to your sun, moon and rising, that's in the description box below. Um, I'm also on instant go. You can ask a question anytime and, you, and uh, one question, um, and, uh, you can get a really quick response, um, on there. That link is below and support me on Patreon guys. Check it out. It's look, it takes me about three days to do these videos. Um, I meditate before each one and I have to do the research and then I, you know, I have to upload it, edit it and all that good stuff. So it does take time. And, um, a nice way of supporting is, you know, donate a dollar or something, you know, you can don't, you can do one donation or you can do it once a month. Um, and that, you know, would really be appreciative. And if you can't, just, you know, like, share, comment and uh, all that other good stuff. Um, I, I, I so get it if you can't, can't afford it. That's fine. Um, but if you can, that would be lovely. And thank you for all of those who bought, uh, you know, whom I gave a, um, a personal reading to, uh, who purchased readings. I really, really appreciate you. You guys keep me going in between. Thank you very much. And okay, so let's go to the uh, astrological report. Now, on uh, the 6th, Venus moves into Libra. Venus is much happier in Libra. There's balance in our relationships. I think she's there till the, is it uh, the 26th of um, September, I believe? Uh, oh, sorry, the 9th of September. So Libra is there. Um, Venus is in Libra till the 9th of September. So that's wonderful. It's balance in our relationships. Venus is a lot more comfortable in Libra than she was in Virgo, for sure. And so we can balance our finances, balance our relationships. And then um, on, the sun, on the 7th, Uranus goes retrograde. Um, we have three planets retrograde, right? We've got Mercury, uh, Mars, and Uranus. So this month in general, guys, is going to be slow. And there's no point in getting frustrated. Well, you know, we and we will tend to get frustrated. But think or take a deep breath before you react. I mean, that's my advice. I had to do that in the supermarket. Uh, was it last night? No, the night before. Um, I had to walk away from a situation before I said something I might regret. <laughs> you know, it's things like that. It's situations like that that you've got to take a breath, you know, be careful of driving, you know, what is it, car rage, drive, driver's rage. You've got to be very careful of that. It's just, you know, take a deep breath and relax. It's not that important. You know, allow things to unfold and just keep going. Keep it moving, darling. Now, I want to talk about the energy of the month, numerology-wise. Um, now, uh, this month is the number 19. How do we get 19? We add um, 
eight, which is August, it's the, the eighth month, right? And then we add 2018. So we add eight to two equals 10. And then we add, well, there's a zero, so that's nothing. Then we add a one, which is 11. And then we add the eight, which is 19. Now, 19 is a karmic number. And 19 in the major arcana represents the sun, right? It's the sun card in the major arcana. And um, the sun rules Leo. And on the 11th, we have this new moon um, solar eclipse in Leo. Now, the sun rules Leo and we've got a solar eclipse. I just think that's amazing. <laughs> I just feel, okay, no, I don't feel, I just <laughs> think, I feel, I feel. I'm a Cancerian, darling, I feel. Um, the uh, This solar eclipse is all about how can we shine right? How can we shine a light on ourselves? How can we shine going forward? How can we be a part of the group and yet be an individual? Um, this is the truly new beginnings because 19, 1 and 9 equals 10 and 10 reduces down because 1 plus 0 reduces down to 1. So that's this is the third of three eclipses that we've just gone through. This is truly new beginnings. Now, I'm not saying start a new project or anything, but this is going, going forward differently within ourselves and asking ourselves, how can we shine? How can we be an individual and yet be a part of the group, right? Um, I think that's a wonderful uh, question to ask ourselves at that time. Um, there are so many other things. Go oh, and I will mention on the um, 12th, um, oh yeah, the 12th Mars moves, because it's in retrograde, it moves back into Capricorn now. That's going to be great because Mars loves being in Capricorn. It can get things done, right? So even though it's retrograde, it's still about being able to move forward. Um, but things are moving at a slower pace. And if we accept that, guys, um, life will be easier. If we can breathe before we react, then, you know, avoid major conflict wherever possible. Because we are liable to say things we perhaps, you know, don't mean or maybe we mean it at that time <laughs> but may regret it later and and you know mercury's in retrograde we could be misconstrued uh, or or misinterpreted what we say might be misconstrued so it's very important um you know to think before we speak um so without further ado let's go to your reading shall we hello taurus and welcome to your oh, taurus sun moon and rising and welcome to your reading for august the 6th through august the 12th this is a general reading guys if you would like a personal reading just click on this link up here and you can find out more about that well the first card out for you taurus is the six of wands this is like accolades this is success this is a completion of something this is about you being celebrated right this is a huge celebration well it can be as little as a child saying you're the best father or best mother or um, somebody proclaiming their uh, appreciation of you publicly this is this to me means public recognition for the work you've done or something you've completed or your talents. Now what's interesting is clarifying it is the death card. So this is a transformation card. And if you see there's like the old man is lying there, but there's a child right here. I feel there's the child is holding the is holding a key. Um, so I feel that is is the old you. It's the end of the old you. This is about being reborn. This is death and rebirth. That's what the card means. It means the death of the old you and a rebirth of the new you. And I feel that you are changing on a cellular level. You are really changing. I feel that you're coming into your own that you're leaving the negativity behind and you're coming into a very positive uh, 
period in your life, uh, uh, you are being are seeing the you are seeing the world differently. You're changing the way you perceive life. So I feel that the old negative, I want to say negative Nelly. <laughs> what we'd say in England the negative Nelly is gone you're leaving that behind and you're going forward with this wonderful new kind of positive behavior I feel that this is really happening for you and then you've got the moon card this is the moon is emotional it's I feel it's like shedding the light on something it's about also I feel that things are transformed in the light of the moon so I feel that you're seeing the truth, Taurus. You are finally seeing the truth. And you are perceiving life as, a, you know, as a, your cup half full as opposed to half empty. And you've got this determination um, to move forward and make a success and do what you, what is close to your heart, what really means a lot to you. You're feeling nurtured and you're feeling more secured and you're feeling more confident and you have the king of cups and the king of cups is clarifying this and another very emotional card the king of cups is deeply emotional but on the outside he um is rather stoic because he feels that to you know to lead his people properly he needs to kind of you know have that stoic out outer shell so that people can't penetrate and you know I guess he thinks that he feels that you know emotions are a weakness but they're not they're a strength so it is saying get in touch with your emotions uh Taurus it's okay to feel you know it is okay to feel and this is you know about being the counselor or seeking counsel too because the king of cups always has his ear open for his subjects he will always be there for them emotionally and uh you know as a wonderful leader so this is about i i'm getting that you're really um becoming a leader in your life you are leading you are going in the right direction you're finally seeing a path for you you're carving out a path for yourself. I'm very, uh, very happy for you. And the next card is the Ace of Wands. Now, the Ace of Wands is another new beginning, right? It's about, it's about, the Ace of Wands is like the spark of a huge fire. So it's the beginning of something very passionate and, and very exciting and, uh, and very and it and, and it has the potential to be really big and grow and be successful and it can be an idea but it, it's something very new it can be a job it can be a promotion it can be it can be something wonderful with new things sometimes there's a little kind of uh, trepidatiousness or trip you know you might be a little kind of fearsome somewhat but clarifying that is saying is the Hierophant, and that's saying, have faith, darling. This, this is really, have faith. This is going to work out for you. It's very exciting. Sometimes change is um, scary. You know, it's fearsome. You don't know what's down the road. But if you look upon it as an exciting adventure and your passion, I feel that you're gonna be very passionate about whatever this is for you, Taurus. So, um, <laughs> be determined don't give up stay in there and have faith that everything is working out in your uh in your direction it's all working out for you this is a really good time oh look you've got the key the keys right the keys are right there the key to the door is right there it's in your faith if if you you know you don't have to have faith in god you have faith in yourself but it's definitely about having faith. And it's also, you know, with the Hierophant, it's also about being part of the group, right? It's being a team player. It's joining groups, you know, of like-minded people. It can be an, a club that you're joining or, 
you know, you're getting together with the boys or the girls or, you know, you are joining something that's going to lift you up, that's going to make you feel um, strong and confident. They are going to encourage you to do that. So you want people around you that are encouraging and nurturing and lift you up. You don't want to be around people that put you down. Taurus, thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like this video, share it on your social media. Uh, comment. I love comments and I always respond when required. And subscribe if you haven't already. Mwah! I love you all and I'll see you next week. All the babies, look at them. How old do you think they are, Kathleen? Um, For a personal reading, please go to www.liveinthesolution. Com. They're uh, at the ugly duckling stage. Maybe four, maybe four weeks. I can make it. No, I'm just saying that because of the no, story. Sure.